Hello everyone, this is Vinay from Informatica. Now I'll be discussing about debugging a Java transmission that is running on a data integration service. I will briefly go over uh, the debugging and its advantages. And then in the following slides, I will uh, discuss about how to enable the debugging for data integration service and how to enable debugging for the client. And I'll also show a quick demo on how how to put things together. Well, debugging allows you to set breakpoints on the source code that you've written inside the Java transmission. So when the breakpoint is hit, you'll be able to see the uh, variable values and uh, you can also step through the source code in order to troubleshoot any problems that are related to the source code that you've written in a Java transmission. So this will help you uh, troubleshoot the problems with the Java transmission pretty quickly. So let's see how we can enable uh, debugging on data integration server first. So for the data integration service, uh, you need to add a JVM parameter, which is xdebug and xrunjdwp. When you add the xdebug option, it'll tell the virtual machine to enable debugging support. And when you set the run JDWP option, it will load a JDPA reference implementation of uh, the JWP, JDWP, and it will enable you to uh, set the options on top of that. For example, here you can see that uh, we enabled um, the server mode, which will enable the debugger to listen for any application to attach and we have specified the transport layer as a socket and we have also specified the address as 4000 which will be the port on which the debugger will listen and the option suspend equals n says that you know the jvm uh, will not start in a suspended mode until a debugger is attached so this will allow you to attach a debugger once the jvm has started also, you have to set an option, launch jobs as separate processes as false on the data integration service. This is because we are debugging the JVM, so we expect all the jobs to be running within the JVM process in order to be able to debug the data integration service. So once these options are set, you will have to restart the data integration service for the changes to take effect. On the client side, uh, we will have to copy the Java code that is generated in the full code tab of the Java transmission. And once you have that code, uh, you will create a Java project in an Eclipse IDE and create a package com Informatica Power Center Server JTX. And you will have to place that class inside this package. So after you have done that, uh, you have to create a remote Java application launch configuration and the port and host will be the port and host that you specified in the xdebug option for the data integration service. So once you have done that, you have to launch the uh, launch configuration and run the mapping, which will allow the uh, debugger to um, activate once the mapping is run. So let's take a quick demo of uh, how this process is done. Currently I'm showing you the developer client where I have a simple mapping. Um, there is a reader which reads the data from a flat file. And then there is a Java transmission which uh, modifies the data a little bit and then writes to a flat file uh, with the help of the target. So I will show you a simple code that I've written inside the Java transmission. So here I have a bunch of if and else conditions where I'm checking whether the customer uh, ID falls within the range that I'm looking for, at which point I will go ahead and set the customer tier as preferred. And also have some checks on the address. If the address turns out to be Alberta, I will um, set the city as Edmonton and uh, rest of the ports I'll just assign it to the outside outgoing ports so I will go ahead and 
you know, copy the full code that is generated for this Java transmission. And as discussed in the previous slides, I will go ahead and create a new Java project. I already created this project for reference. And in that Java project, I created a package with the name com informatica power center server jtx. Inside that package, I have placed this class. And as you can see, I have set two breakpoints. And I expect the breakpoints to be hit once I run the mapping application. And also, there is one step uh, that needs to be done for the launch configuration. You go into the debug configurations and in the remote Java application, you have to create a new launch configuration and specify the host and the port name. So once this is done, um, we will go ahead and make some changes on the data integration service layer. So let's log into the admin console. And on the DIS process, we will have to enable two things. Well, let's first go to the processes tab and in the JVM properties, command line options, you have to enable X debug and then X run JDWP with a couple of options. Server is equal to yes, transport as a DT socket, and address as 4000, which is the port that uh, the debugger will listen on, and suspend mode is no. And in the properties, we have to uh, run all the jobs in the same JVM process. So for that, we are going to set this option to false. As you can see, the option is already set to false. And once these options are set, you will have to restart the service, which I have already done for the demo. Now let's go ahead and run the mapping. Uh, before that, let's make sure we have run the launch configuration. So as you can see, the debugger client is attached to the debugger server. So we are good to run the mapping right now. So I will go ahead and run the mapping. Now as this mapping runs, we can see that the debugger hits on the breakpoint where I have set the breakpoints. So now I can step through the code and see how the code execution takes place. And this will also allow me to inspect the variables as they are initialized. As you can see, customer tier has been set to preferred. And while I'm stepping through the code, you can also see that I'm setting some, some other attributes like city and other addresses, which can be seen on top. So the properties are getting set as we step through the code. And this debugger points will hit for all the uh, data rows that are there in the flat file.
So this completes the demo on how to enable the debugger um, for the data integration service as well as the client. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to Informatica. Our email address is supportvideos at informatica.com and you can also reach us on Twitter at InfoSupport. Thank you.